Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we unpack a big question at the heart of India's energy story. Thorium, which was once seen as the fuel that could power the nation for generations. Why, even after decades of planning and promise, does India still not have a single thorium reactor running? And how did that long-awaited breakthrough happen somewhere else instead? For decades, thorium was supposed to be India's energy trump card. Clean, abundant, and perfectly matched to the country's geology, it was seen as the fuel that could one day free India from imported uranium and fossil fuels. Homibaba built India's nuclear roadmap around it. Yet in 2025, India still does not run a single commercial reactor on thorium fuel. In the 1950s, Homibaba the father of India's nuclear program, envisioned a three-stage nuclear energy plan that aimed to leverage India's vast thorium reserves and achieve long-term energy security. Former Indian President APJ Abdul Kalam also spoke about this vision often. As Dr. Srijan Pal Singh, author and former advisor to President Kalam, puts it, the total energy contained in all the world's uranium, petroleum and coal put together is equal to the energy contained in India's thorium alone. Speaking to Z News, Dr. Singh said, India's thorium is our biggest treasure lying right under our feet, adding, we should have utilized it. This was not a failure of research. Indian scientists proved the thorium pathway step by step. Thorium oxide fuel pins were tested in pressurized heavy water reactors. Uranium-233, bred from thorium, powered the Karmini reactor at Kalpakkam. Fuel fabrication, reprocessing and irradiation studies were all completed. What never happened was the final jump. The advanced heavy water reactor, designed specifically for thorium, has remained on paper for more than two decades. Now. Clean core thorium energy has done what India planned for decades. The US-based private startup recently unveiled Anil, a commercially deployable thorium-based fuel designed to work in pressurized heavy water reactors, including Indian reactors. The irony is hard to miss. India laid the foundation, built the reactors, and validated the fuel cycle. The final commercial step happened abroad. Experts point to a mix of causes behind the delay in thorium's commercial deployment. Thorium is not fissile on its own and requires complex breeding and reprocessing. After the 2008 nuclear deal made uranium easier to access, urgency faded. Funding slowed. Institutional caution set in. Thorium became a future goal rather than a present mission. Dr. Singh believes that pause has cost India dearly. He argues, we should immediately set up a task force and create a venture fund that does not go only to IITs and the BARC, but also supports our private enterprises. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.